Hello creatives! Welcome to the daily pick a card and birthday reading for August 29th. If you were born today after sunrise, you are a 10 of hearts. Before sunrise, you're actually yesterday's card, which was a jack of hearts. So the way this works, I'm going to read each card individually, then all together for the collective. Then a special birthday message for you, Ten of Hearts. This is your solar year cards. They are here to help you, help yourself, raise your vibration so that you can manifest with the best of them. <laughs> All right. And we're going to talk about this Ten of Hearts energy today. So if you chose card number one, Ooh, the King of Spades. Wow. All right. We're doing high vibe today all the way. It's in the upright position. You have a remarkable chance to connect with your spirituality at your deepest core. So the King of Spades is that card that has pretty much survived everything from three revelations. You know, you just have been through the battle of doing the right thing by yourself, spiritually connecting to your source, your daimon, all of the good things that bring that intuitive brilliance to your decision making more than anything. It's not easy because the kings do it through crisis. It's Pluto energy. Pluto loves to blow things up, just get bigger. It doesn't care if it's good, doesn't care if it's bad. It is just there to level the playing field and get you to pick up your pieces and move on. And during this experience, it is about reinventing yourself through these epiphanies of understanding that what you really, 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 really need is to do this with that grace and that ease. And the thing that you're looking for here is overcoming some limiting belief. So you get a wake up call. You see where you've been shortchanging yourself, and then you're, I don't know, heartbroken, or you realize that you could have been doing it, you know, different. However, it's to embrace this message with that clarity and that hope and that infusion of energy to go and begin the begin all over again. That's the king's life. The black suit kings are, in, well, the all kings encompass the seven, eights, and nines. So we're looking at that Saturn energy, life's tough lessons. So <laughs> right there, Pluto and Saturn. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I know. And then you got the, the chariot, that Rahu energy. So it's fast and furious, but it has every opportunity to see it and go for the big picture, understanding that, wow, you've just got granted a giant step forward in who you are at your core to understanding you. It's one of the best cards in figuring it out, you know, how to talk to your intuition and how to listen to it, get your dime on to be tapping you on the shoulder and you being able to pick up that vibration. This is the card to do exactly that. It's also that nine of K2 energy, that south node, where in this case with the Black King, that's the hermit. So you take it and you, you meditate on it. You've got your work cut out for you today, but this is a good thing. It's great for everyone, actually, because we're all going to get a taste of that. Beautiful day to do that with that Ten of Hearts energy. Let's see what we get for the second card. We've got the Nine of Clubs. 
This is K2 energy. So again, you know, with the nine of clubs, we're talking about that hermit energy. So meditation, you know, this looks like this is what's going to be the recipe for today to get it right. This is the map, the Pathfinder card. It's got an ingrown mapping system that you're just going to be able to follow intuitively. Like it's in the palm of your hand. You got it. You know where you're going. You're trusting in how you're going to get there. And it is about family, DNA, karma, you know, that ingrained you from your, your history, your family history, the DNA history of what that family looks like. Um, yeah, you know, there just isn't any easy way to explain it, but it is you basically being able to see it through truth finding. So, you know, it's like this, the tree in the background here is the truth. And you are seeking your individual truth. Meaning that you're ready, you're feeling that free spirit. You've heard that inkling of intuitive messages coming through and you're paying attention and you're ready to start down that path of finding you. This is a truth finder card. It is finding it through the love of learning and then going about getting that knowledge and seeing where your status quo of what you always thought family to be, that you've decided that that's going to stop with you. You're, you're doing the thing. You're changing it. All you got to do is think about it differently and it's done. <laughs> that's all your diamond wants you to do to step outside that matrix of accepting that that lower vibe of what the family was all about or that false high vibe and how to how to get there you how to get to you through that because you're more than just your family history you're here as a spirit within a body so it's your job to really take that and figure out you and how to do you differently. And the second that you do that, you're done, right? You're on your way. You've set the ball in motion and there's just really no stopping it. It's a beautiful card to get and it's giving. So once you do this work, you are going to be able to share that in so many different special ways of you tweaking you into becoming this sharing, beautiful energy. <laughs> it's really quite lovely. All right, card number three. We've got the five of clubs. Love this card. It is all about sharing that energy, figuring it out. It's love of studying, just it's Jupiter energy. So it's happy. It's happy and joyful and expansive in its sharing. Always a pleasant, well, almost always <laughs> a pleasant energy to be around. I know some low vibe five of clubs and not so good. <laughs> Depending on your sun sign and rising sign, um, it makes a huge difference as to who you are. But in general, the five of clubs is a beautiful card. It's restless energy, so it's always changing things up. It is 
socially active. And it's always looking for new information, which is a beautiful thing because why wouldn't you want to have a conversation with someone who's interesting and interested? That's this card. And it's also this rapid growth and being able to grasp that very quickly, you know, whatever information that's coming your way and then put it to good use. Love that everything is in the upright position here because we are looking at this Ten of Hearts day. So let's look at that and then we will read this as a whole for the collective. So the Ten of Hearts energy today, we're going to look at the high vibe and the low vibe of that because you could bump up into any of it. We don't have any reversals, so we're going to keep this high vibe today, but that doesn't mean you won't be challenged because the King of Spades is all about being challenged. So is the Nine of Clubs, actually, with that DNA, but thank God for the Five of Clubs, we're going to figure it out. So the Ten of Hearts is all about your ecliptic. That's the ecliptic card. It is about the Wheel of Fortune from the Major Arcana. That is what it's related to. So it's you, yeah, spinning the wheel <laughs> and landing where it lands today. So you might want to sit for a second, a moment, while you're thinking about how you're going to approach and Ask that that high vibe really be available to you. Check out what you have on your ecliptic and go from there. So pull that thread and see where you might spin that wheel and what you might land on. So it's a, it's a popularity card. So we're all going to be pretty warm, pretty receptive with whatever comes around for us today, which is nice. It is a day where you're going to feel pretty capable because it is a card that encompasses all of the other pip cards. So you've got this ginormous toolbox to work with. If you look a little deep, we're talking about our emotions here. That's the 10 of hearts, hearts of the emotional. So it's how you take care of you, taking care of everything else. You got to keep that steady and really enjoying the figuring it out part because, like I said, the popularity around this is pretty lovely. It's a card that gives caring messages. So, you know, it might be one of those random acts of kindness day where you are able to just give freely and be that 10 of hearts where you're just going to be warm and friendly and open. The down, downside of it, which we could easily tap into the downside today too, depending, you know, your chart and what your day looks like, what you might be challenged by with these cards, because something's coming, right? So there may be some lower vibe that we are given a glimpse of. So what does that look like for a 10 of hearts? Well, it would be the selfishness, wouldn't it? And, you know, taking without giving and being pretty ungrateful for whatever does come, you know, taking everything for granted and also having this conceit about it because you're so used to being that popularity card that you forget how to share that loving vibe with other people. So we are in Virgo season. So, you know, we're looking at what could be around for that Virgo low vibe as well that we might bump into or the higher vibe. So on the higher vibe side, if you're out there doing your thing, you know, this is being really considerate, having the words to express and 
perfecting whatever it is that you're doing. It is really a beautiful Mercury, Mercury card. So we're in it for a few more days. And let's not forget, we've got that blue moon tomorrow. So if you haven't prepared for that yet, get your jar of water tonight and or tomorrow night and get that ready to put out. Ask your diamond to bless it to fulfill it with that blue moon energy. We're looking at Virgo energy, Mercury, Mercury. <clears throat> so it's really going to give you that energy of being able to have the words to speak your truth with authority, if that's what you need. You being able to be the uh, creative that that first Deacon Vigo has. Vigo. Did I say Digo? Vigo. <laughs> Vigo Virgo. <laughs> My dyslexic not having the words. <laughs> Oh, sometimes I think faster than my tongue can let it out. <laughs> so, all right. So, I mean, in the low vibe, you know, being that narcissistic self uh, energy that's possible today, we could be looking around trying to tell other people how to do things right, <laughs> right? <laughs> Our way or the highway, you know, not so good. <laughs> So, okay, we're going to be well aware of uh, self-esteem issues and criticism and not beating ourselves up about things today because we could easily go down that path. All right, so here we have it. This is it. We, we're, we're getting some epiphany. This is the deepest part of understanding that we're going to get a piece of limiting belief about ourselves, something that's holding us back, something that we just thought was a given, you know, no changing, this is it. Hadn't even thought about giving it a uh, second look. It's just been the way it's been. You grew up poor, so you've got that poor mentality. You grew up rich, so you've got the rich mentality. You grew up hungry or you grew up with, oh, God knows what. That's what you're going to get that piece of. Each one of us will have something different to contemplate. We're going to go find the truth around it. We're going to start thinking about it differently because we're going to be able to find that path to doing exactly that. This is going to be a beautiful day if we can keep it in the high vibe. All right, definitely check your ecliptic and begin there. Check your Saturn, your Rahu, your K2, right? K2 especially, what do you have in your fifth position, Jupiter? Because this is the judgment card, so... We get our just due today if we can put the energy where it needs to go. All right, great. All right, happy birthday, 10 of hearts. Let's see what you get for your creativity oracle card to begin the begin on heightening your vibration. Let's see what task you are being given. Wow, the manifestation card. Soon, you may manifest the goal you focus spiritual energies upon. Well, that is awesome. Spiritual energies. So when I look at your chart of a Ten of Hearts, there's several things that come up for me with this manifesting card here. So, but... Before I get into that, I'm going to flip over the spirit, oh wow, and nature card. You got the ace of spades. This is really interesting. Okay, so your chart, you've got the seven of clubs on your ecliptic. When we're looking for manifestation, where do we look? We learn how to raise our vibration to the point where we're feeling really good. We can put that energy into our reserve so that when it's time to manifest, 
tomorrow night. <laughs> Blue moon energy just for you. Uh, you and the nine of hearts tomorrow. And all of us. It is something really amazing. You are ripe for manifesting. So you've got the ace of spades. This is sun energy. You've got the 10 of diamonds in your sun spot as a 10 of hearts. You've got the seven of clubs on your ecliptic. And what do you have in your Rahu is the three of spades. So life is not easy for you. Not at all. You are asked to go looking for trouble, pretty much. Your diamond loves it because that seven of clubs ecliptics is the way to get you into that face cards of the jack, queen, and king. Being a 10, you're on that ecliptic life path. And for you, it's that seven of clubs. So you are to understand on a very deep level exactly what you need to let go of and how you reinvent who you are. And the only way that you can do that is through loss, unfortunately. Tower energy, Saturn energy, but it is the spiritual gateway card, the sevens, all of them. And for you, it's through communication, how you learn, how you accept new information coming through, and how you deal with it. Being a Virgo, you're probably into making lists and love doing it. You're the working card. You guys, the tens, are really pretty happy. And you know, you're that major arcana. You are that wheel of fortune. So you're always, you know, riding this roller coaster of up and down energy coming around. You never know when you put your feet on the floor in the morning, you don't know what's coming your way. A lot of work. Yes. And full of epiphanies because that is your path. So, you know, just understanding that, that it's some spiritual thing for you, tightly connected to your manifesting abilities. So whatever practice you can put into place with that, a moment of gratitude before you get your feet on the floor in the morning, right? <laughs> and just say thank you for the day that you're open and ready to receiving. You'll do your best and please help with the guidance. You'll get there. That is exactly what your manifesting is about, building that closer relationship with source. It's really quite nice. So the more that you can do that and the more at the end of the day you can say, wow, you know, I was really surprised that message came through so crystal clear. I'm, I'm doing it, <laughs> you know, and that goes in the reserve. And how powerful is that when you need to manifest something that you know you've strengthened that, that line to your daimon or through your daimon to source. It's really pretty beautiful energy. Okay, so what's your catch 22 that you look to Pluto for? And Pluto, you know, that is that energy of knowing exactly how to react to things blowing up. We've got um, things coming out of left field. It's really the, the, the point where you don't see things coming. It's almost your, your blind spot is a really good way to put it. You've got the jack of clubs there. So that is all about that aces, twos, and threes in the club suit. So you've got the three of clubs on your Saturn. So you can see how all of this is connected to your life lessons. The threes are not easy. So having a three in your Saturn and a three in your uh, Rahu 
are pretty tough cards, and the seven ecliptic's not easy either. But what saves you? All right, look to the moon card. You've got that eight of spades there. That is really that deeper, intuitive knowing that that is what is your lifeline, that saving grace is building that connection with source. That's where you need to really work. This year, you're getting that message right here to just do what you can to strengthen that connection. Whatever that looks like for you, through your spirituality, do it. All right, let's see. I'm, this card, to me, always says, go and get that moon energy out there. Because that moon energy tomorrow, be sure to watch the video for that. And um, I've got a blue moon video as well. They don't happen very often. So I'm going to put one of those together later this afternoon so that we can all be prepared to go get that energy. So, yeah. All right. Let's look at what you have here. The magic potion. I can create magic anytime I wish. Well, you know what? Blue moon magic. That's coming, and we're going to grab it. See the blue? <laughs> See the heart suit? Yes, absolutely. We are going to really pick that up. All right, I'll see you tomorrow for the Blue Moon video, and we'll all prepare to uh, grab that and be able to put that into our toolbox as well. All right. Happy creating, everyone. Be safe on your journey. And as always, let's do it with, with uh, kindness and generosity on our creative journeys.